And now we're live. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's going on? This is your homie and rap god, Fantasy 8 here. Welcome to another episode of Fantasy 8's Fantasy Asset Shot Off Podcast Series. And I'm sure y'all are doing well today. And I know it's been a while since I released that, that last episode. The reason why I didn't do the last episode because something just came up, and that's the reason why I haven't did the next episode of. So, and we're decided what we're going to talk about today. So, hey, oh yes, I'm going to tell you about what I've been up to and everything else, y'all. Um, I went and, and I met up with this guy, called himself Strawberry, at the iHeart Media Station down in near the Magnolia Bridge. It was a fun time. They think I did a great entertaining skills. They think I'm a great entertainer to be in their podcast show called The Wake Up Show. I'm sure y'all heard that when you guys listen to it every early mornings on Cube 93, if y'all heard of that. So I would give a shout out to Strawberry and the other two ladies that impresses me, that give me the funny, that give me the funny effects. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, guys, um, let's see. So here's a short sample of it. All right, that's the sample of it. If y'all want to see the full version of it, the link is on the description right there if y'all want to check it out. So, anyway, um, and I also want to give a shout-out to Lindsay Reeves for winning the giveaway. And I'm really proud of her that she supports me. She's wearing that red fancy I Loves Me dress. And if y'all ladies out there, y'all want to enter the giveaway, just hit me up on my fan mail or... Hit me up on, on my Gmail and e and email me if you want to be entered. Or my Facebook fan page or my Instagram. So, anyway, y'all enter your names. And also, I'm going to tell you about what I have been doing. Um, I've been postering yesterday after I left the station. People are getting to know about me and I've been stopped a lot. You know how it is, you guys. I love postering. That's the reason why I will never stop. And I don't want people to stop me from postering because that will make me not look good and everything. So that's the reason why I will ignore what people say, what they want me to do, like about not postering and everything. So I will ignore what they're saying, you guys. And um, anyway, um, I'm going to tell you about, let's see, I want to give a shout out to Dunar Mall. There are some things I'm going to tell you about her, y'all. She is an artist from Southern California, and she's the, one of the best artists I ever got to know. We met back in 2016 when we have that barbecue thing now on Rainier. She's an awesome artist, y'all. She has, like, thousands of followers on Instagram, and and everyone loved the way she inspires people and everything, and I'm so proud of her, y'all. She's one of the best artists, and she... Her and I were started a collaboration months ago when it started snowing. And I didn't expect the snow to come in February or March, y'all. We're almost spring. It's like spring snow. Like, what's up with the snow, y'all? Really? <laughs> Man, y'all. But I'm glad it's not snowing this summer because it will be... They picked the wrong, wrong month, wrong season to have snow. It's only for winter only. But it's been winter in February anyway, so... And it's also snowed in February of this year, too, which we didn't expect. So, yeah, so... Anyway, um... Anyway, here are the samples I'm gonna show y'all from... That's written and recorded by Duner Mall. I'm not alone. Hard to remember that they threw me a couple bones. Much to be thankful for, but I don't have a hometown. Big 
I don't really know what's next. Switch memories to see me. Will you make a mic bet? We both have a dream to live a real big life. No shit, there's cream and never ending kind of heights to lick. I'm not kidding, I think everybody hates me now. I love everybody still deep. All right, that's all the samples I'm going to show you guys. So, anyway, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to share some rhymes for y'all. It's from the each song that I performed. If y'all want to hear from here, this is the way I sound. Here it goes. There's something about the beat that I couldn't handle. It's like being being trapped inside a stressful castle. Anxiety is my problem that I have right now. If I get away from it, but I don't know how. The house I live right now is tearing down the part. It got me too much stress. I have a painful heart. My mom has anxiety problem. I tried to help her. I thought first she's my mom and she's under for fur. I'm a rapper with autism that has stressful life. The one that has anxiety is my future wife. Nobody understands what my anxiety is like. Although they gave me special time while walking on Pike. My dad's my problem. He got my life screwed up. For his talking bothers me as it gets too tough. I can't take any more. Don't know who to talk to. Try to take deep breaths but there's nothing else to do. It's hard to escape your anxiety and become angry. I couldn't help myself become so hungry. I can't stand anxiety just to make me more stronger. Whatever if my past problems will make me stronger. I'm a rapper with positive attitude. You had to hang with me, my fam, my crew. Gonna get away from negativity. I'm gonna focus on the mega positivity. I love my city to see out. It's a great place to live. I can see our center. Like I'm home crib. Fans able to go on. A protection hunt. Go protect yourself. Go for a fake punt. How's the hard part I do to be so busy? Spin around very fast. It'll make me dizzy. So don't want the ladies to reject me to fall apart. Baby, would you be my Seattle sweetheart? I work hard and hard to get that grind. Seattle rap legend has a strong mind. Don't hate each other, just love each other. Don't listen to races, just listen to another. During Valentine's Day, I was thinking about love. For the girls, I attracted to things up out of buff. I have a brave heart, but torn weakness. For ladies, for, for me to show them sweetness. It's harder for a relationship in Seattle than person. Where are my not doing relationships to put words in? I will open Valentine's cards for the friends I like. If it goes out to go out, we have to ride my bike. Love becomes stronger than any other mankind. If a guy's taking my woman, I'll tell him it's mine. I was told to a woman came over to help her. She told me what happened, so I'll cover up with my fur. She took the woman and tried to attach her inside and out. She says I'm a smart person, what well, I'm about. If we, if we start a new relationship without falling apart, I want this type of woman come and see how sweetheart. Alright, y'all, that's all the rhymes I will share with y'all and everything else. So. Anyway, if y'all would like to donate me funds for all the hard work I did, go to my cash app that's under the description, which is dollar sign fantasy guru six five, and my Venmo fantasy um dash a dash four like you know hyphen it's fantasy hyphen a hyphen four. That's what usually it says on the description. That's how it is. So. Anyway, feel free to send me any funds you want for the hard work I did so I can go be supportive, know what I do, hook up with the more materials and everything else and everything. So anyway, and go check out my GoFundMe campaigns I'm running in case if you all know anyone who wants to like donate or share around. It's on the description. My GoFundMe campaigns on the description right here. 
So anyway, I want to give a shout out to Young Thought and her management for looking out for what I do, what I post on Instagram. I'm going to collab with Young Thought really soon, you guys. She's one of the best friends that met me through the articles they've written about me through the Weekly and The Stranger. And we met at Clockwork Counter back in 2016. And everything else. And we ran to each other on the bus. And we played together at High Dive in Fremont back in December 2017. It was so much fun. And I can't wait to collab with her on this new song called Cruising on the Boat. We just formed my new album, A Kid from the Emerald City, that will release at the end of August of this year or in the middle of September. So let's hope for the best we get this done, y'all, so y'all can hear it and see what we sound like and everything. So anyway, um, let's see. What else can we talk about? Oh, um, the movie that we did is called Fantasy Gets Jacked. It's about... How I don't like, you know, when my stuff got jacked by those criminals I don't know that ruined my birthday. If y'all haven't seen it yet, go on YouTube, search up Fantasy Gets Jacked, and feel free to share it with your friends if they haven't seen it yet. And I'm working on premiere it at the Central Cinema in the near future if y'all been there all the time. So I'm going to do maybe two showings at the Central Cinema for Fantasy Gets Jacked or something. Well, we'll see about that, y'all. It will announce soon. And also, y'all, I have a documentary showing coming up on August 17th. It's going to be at the West Seattle Library meeting room. It's for a documentary for the Summer in Seattle music video that we did back in 2017. How we came up with that and how we uh, we did. So, please be sure to check it out. So, anyway, um... And very soon, guys, I'm going to invite all the artists that met me through my flyers for a podcast so I can start asking them questions. So I'm going to hit up Do Normal, Archie, and Lindsay Reeves, and the other artists too, if they're down to be part of the podcast too, and the other artists too. So anyway, I'm going to hit them up and help them. And promote their work and their positivity out there. That's what I'm about. Fiance is all about promoting positivity. And I'm more of a positive speaker. It's what Strawberry said in the last podcast thing from the Wake Up Show, you guys. So, anyway. And I think that's all for today, you guys. Thanks, y'all, for listening to the podcast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And be sure to subscribe for more content. If you want to see more of my stuff, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button. So you'll be notified when the next one comes. So anyway, y'all, thank you for listening again. And be sure to follow my friends' channels as well. Subscribe to their channel. That's also in the description right there. And be sure to donate whenever you can. And share the podcast to your folks. All right, guys, have a fancy ass day. Shout out to Duno Mall, Archie again, Lindsay Reeves, Strawberry, and the other two ladies from the Wake Up Show 293. And shout out to Steve Poole at the Como Ford News and wish him a speedy recovery and pray for him, you guys. And give a shout out to Steve Rabel for doing an awesome job in Cairo 7 News. And I want to give a shout out to my friends from Portland, Oregon, Lexi Jones, a friend of Owen Burr, and also, and again, Noah Z and David Lewis, and also... I also want to give a shout out to Porter Ray, Nick Ma- Masenke, and I don't know if I have to say well, and Tuesday Velasco, and Ari Glass, and my bro John Koo, and everyone else. Thank y'all for listening. Have a fancy ass today. I'm going to model to give you guys, as always, be yourself, be inspired, and be respectful. And also hit me up on my fan mail if you all want to send me fan mail or anything. Alright, peace, much love. Love you guys, and see y'all next time.